Okay. The next question that we got on the menu today is what is the square root of negative, uh, where, where is the square root of negative four? Yeah. So that's uh, this, negative four. Okay, so the first thing that might be a red flag is a lot of the times you're saying like, oh, never take the square root of a negative number. Well, that is true, but also not true. Um, because uh, I need to tell you about something. So we have something called I, which is the imaginary number or the complex number. That is equal to the square root of negative one. It's not a real number. You can't count to I. You can't say like, you know, how tall are you? I'm I centimeters, you know, imaginary. It doesn't make sense. But this is like, uh, we're entering the complex domain of numbers. So because of that, we're gonna have an I term, okay? So if I is the square root of negative one, um, with some other properties that we know about roots, we know that this is equal to square root of two, multiply the square root of negative one. No, not the square root of two, I'm tripping. The result is two, but it's actually the square root of four. Uh, you see how we can, um, we can factor out, like negative four is just positive four times negative one. Um, you know, we can factor them out of each other and then keep them under separate roots. Okay, now we know that negative one, the square root of negative one is i. So that's equal to negative four times i. It's, keep in mind, i is not plus minus. Um, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. And the square root of four, well, what what multiplied by itself is gives us four. Two times two gives us four. Negative two times negative two also gives us four. So we do need the plus minus two. Equals plus or minus two, and, and that's multiplied by i. So this is equal to the square root of negative four. Plus minus two i. Um, later on, you'll see like why uh, imaginary numbers are useful. Um, if you go into like uh, electrical signals, um, uh, electrical AC signals you'll see a lot of complex numbers if you go into like more advanced areas of physics this will also be very useful um, it's very cool stuff so now now that you know this if someone says what's the square root of a negative number before you might have said like square root of negative number not a chance that's not math but it is math um, now you know the answer just factor out negative one out of the negative thing and just uh, basically you just multiply by i and then take the square root regularly don't forget the plus minus if you forget the plus minus it's going to be a lot of minuses um, that you're going to feel on your marks <laughs> so keep in mind plus minus plus minus never forget it now um, the final solution is correct Correct. Uh, step three needs um, should have the plus minus before the two, not after. No, but um, final solution is good.